Hello everybody, hope you're having a nice Saturday. This is uh, the next instalment of the uh, Scalar Wave Rider. Um, I acquired an old ultrasonic uh, generator, which I've um, cannibalized a little bit. Uh, I've added a little uh, inverter and a battery, so I'm not connected with any uh, uh, grid network. Um, and here it is uh, glued into the top of this on top of the uh, wave rider. Um, what I'm going to show uh, is the first, well, firstly, if you take a screenshot of the drawing, I'll let you take that before I get my fat fingers in the way. And basically we have uh, the Tesla uh, set up, the Tesla coil. Um, 18 volt battery input, a switch, on off switch, the ZVS uh, circuit powering L1, L2 is the main tower. I have a spark gap which should uh, increase um, or stimulate the system even more. Um, we come off that uh, into the main plate which is stationary. Um, the other side is the generator. Again, 12 volt input, uh, AC, uh, DC to AC inverter, which uh, allows me to power the ultrasonic generator on the top. As you can see, it has a, a plus and a minus. Uh, so basically, uh, same setup as before. We have uh, two brushes. Off the one off the top disc, rotating disc, going down to a car battery, and a brush off the bottom going down to a car battery, which uh, yeah, uh, maybe that's stimulating the um, magnetic field, uh, and then when we add a spark to it, um, it, it maybe forms some kind of uh, bubble. The ultra um, sonic generator um, allows allows the uh, the push from uh, the neutral point, as far as I can see. How I see it is a kind of um, if we have clockwise and counterclockwise clockwise rotation of the eddy current. Um, this causes some kind of, uh, between the positive and negative, gives us a zero point in the middle, which is then statically charged, um, also having a magnetic rotation, uh, a field input. So uh, magnetic field input rotation and static charge um, allows for the, uh, the envelope uh, around the uh, wave rider and then the ultrasonic uh, generator allows it to lift. Uh, possibly the next generation of these will have uh, various um, ultrasonic possibilities to move the system left, right, um, yeah. Anyway, enough of that talk. So, to the hardware. So we have the uh, Tesla coil. As I stated, I have an 18 volt battery to a ZBS circuit. I have a switch there, uh, safety again. Uh, bottom of this is connected to uh, earth, which um, comes through to the spark gap and then into the main L2 coil. From the top of that coil, we're going into the main plate. You can see the brushes there. So that's that. Um, this is the ultrasonic generator. Uh, battery, 12 volt, into a, um, a small inverter, into, uh, yeah, the ultrasonic generator. I'll just turn, I'll just give you an example of that. Um, 
should be able to hear it. When I turn, come on. So you could hear that tone. So um, that's working. Um, I'll just show you that the Tesla coil is working separately. So we turn it on and we'll ignite the spark, as you can see. And you can see we have uh, the normal feedback as we would. Also, it's through the legs, but uh, yeah, it'll be in the whole area. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's giving that radiant uh, field anyway. So that's that's functioning. So I'll just turn that off. And the uh, the DC voltage to the top and the bottom uh, disc. Oh, before that, you can see we have brushes here, and uh, uh, if you can get in, if you can actually see that, there's a brush there on the coil on the inside, and there's. If I start it a little bit, you'll see the magnet. You'll see that that's going. Uh, difficult to film. So that's going that way. And the top one is clockwise. So clockwise and counterclockwise. Both have brushes. Uh, as you can see, the track is being formed. So we do have a connection there. That will be from the car battery. So positive top, negative bottom. So let's see if anything happens. So I'll connect the car battery. I'll connect the generator. I'll connect the Tesla coil. And we put the discs. really uh, going on there a lot of vibration okay we got uh, some kind of static jump back <laughs> but um, yeah that's where we're at at the minute I'm not saying it doesn't work because this might have to be changed uh, from plastic, M might have to be closer to this disc. Um, there's other alterations, um, but um, just just to show you, that's where I am at the minute. Um, I hope it was helpful, and uh, yeah, let's have others to replicate and see if we can uh, talk to each other and uh, and find out what our problems are. I also know that this uh, disc uh, probably needs um, the other stubbled effect. Uh, yeah, again, if it does work, um, maybe uh, the plate here needs to be uh, a larger dimension. There are other parameters that we have to look at. Thanks for watching.